Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and this video was filmed on Tuesday, February 18th. We just finished up week number five of my sex vacation, 2020. We are almost halfway through. I'm going to walk you guys through a typical day of eating for me, and I'll break down and discuss each of my meals and snacks as the day goes along. Before I do that though, I just wanna point out two things. Number one, I just want to emphasize that I'm not recommending any of this to anyone. I'm just showing you all what I eat, what my go-to meals, snacks, and drinks are because a lot of you have asked about them. For number two, and my hope is that none of you all can relate to this, but when I go on my long food challenge tours and do so many challenges, all of those meals are very high in calories and very low in nutrition. Well, by the time I'm done and ready for a break, my body is hungry and ready for all of the foods that I'm eating now, which are pretty much the opposite, very high in nutrition and especially fiber and lower in calories. All right, whenever I'm home, the first thing I do as soon as I wake up, I get my body jump started and ready to dominate the day by getting hydrated. I walk over to the fridge, I grab my apple cider vinegar with mother, I pour a one ounce shot into this shot glass, I dump it into this nice pint sized 16 ounce glass of water, I drink it and then I chase it with another 16 ounce glass of water and I do that because they say there's a lot of similar benefits with drinking an ounce of apple cider vinegar with mother as there is with drinking lemon water. I think a lot of the stuff they say, I think half of it is true and very positive. I think the other half is just a bunch of sales crap, but either way, there's no real harm in it. And more importantly, it kind of gives me an understanding that, hey, I'm actually home. There's gonna be some structure to my day. Let's dominate, it's gonna be a good one. After drinking all that, I make a four pot of coffee Right now I'm drinking Folgers, but really it just kind of depends on what's on sale at the time that I go to buy it. But I'll drink my coffee for a couple hours while I work on the computer, and then once I've been sitting there long enough, it's time for a break, then I cook a big breakfast. All of the ingredients right here are the components that go into the big breakfast bowl that I tend to have the mornings after I lift, which is like three or four times per week. I need my protein, so whenever I make this big, concoction. I take four whole eggs, I put them in this microwavable dish, scramble them, and while they are cooking, I do everything else. I have a full can of beans. I try to get all the different varieties that I can available at the store just so I can keep things switched up. I get no salt at it whenever possible, but either way, I still rinse the beans completely. I also cut a full green pepper in half, take out all the seeds, and then I also rinse three or four, five jalapenos, depending on size. I chop the jalapenos up to sprinkle those on top, but I'll take the scrambled eggs and the beans, I'll pack them into the halves of the green pepper just to make things easier to eat, and then I just spoon or fork the rest. But on top of all that, I have some crushed red pepper for flavoring, and then I also sprinkle on some delicious and spicy sriracha sauce, but Arthur is showing you guys a photo of the finished product, and yes, it is just as delicious as it looks. For some substitutions, just in case, if I don't have any green pepper, I will use a full can of rinsed sliced carrots, and if I do have some shredded cheese at the house, I'll sprinkle that on top, and I'll even microwave the bowl to melt the cheese, and mm, mm, mm. All of the ingredients right here make up the breakfast that I have on the other days, especially on the mornings after my very long rides. We've got lots of carbs here, we've got antioxidants between all these berries, and then between the three of these items, all kinds of fiber. I combine one full cup of oatmeal in addition to one full cup of wheat bran. I get this off of Amazon because it's not available in many stores. You may not have heard of wheat bran before, and really it kind of looks like the stuff you spread on the bottom of hamster cages, but it's really just straight fiber. In one fourth of a cup, there's seven grams of insoluble fiber, and so I mix the two of these with a whole bunch of water, and then on top of that, once cooked, I sprinkle on two good-sized scoops of milled or ground flax seed. So, as you can imagine, the three of these together aren't really that flavorful, so to liven up my breakfast, I have about a cup of non-fat plain yogurt for some calcium, and then I also have a whole mix of berries. I've got some raspberries here, we've got blueberries and blackberries, but all of this combines to be a delicious and very nutritious breakfast. 
These right here are my snacks as the gatekeeper for my house. I live by myself. I don't really allow chips or anything like that inside. I keep everything lower in calories and high in nutrition. So I don't really starve myself. If I'm really hungry, I eat something and I have these snacks on hand. My go-to's are right here, the broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, and celery sticks. I can eat the cucumbers by themselves, but I'll have some delicious Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I usually pour some in a shot glass and then dip all of this into that. I have some fruit. I love apples and oranges, and then when they're in season, I enjoy cherries and plums. My go-to apples are Granny Smith apples, and then I have right here Red Delicious apples, but these are typically a weekend thing. I'll have a serving or two before I go out for a while, but with everything, I don't really have a rhyme or reason what I have each day for snacks, when and what. Kind of just depends on how I'm feeling that day, but these are all of the things that I primarily have available for snacks. These two sets of components right here make up my other big meal of the day. I do some form of exercise every single night. I will either ride my bike, Stacy, for a few hours by itself, or I will lift and ride my bike, or I will walk for an hour, an hour and a half, and I'll lift. On the days I need more carbs, where I know I'm gonna ride for a while, I go over here. I have one full cup of instant brown rice mixed with, I just went to the store, so I have a whole bunch of steamable vegetables, but I've got cut leaf spinach, we've got broccoli cuts, and then we got cut green beans. So I'll mix these two with a full can of rinsed mackerel for the higher carb with protein meal. On the days where I'm just walking and lifting, I know I don't need as many carbs, this is where I actually meal prep. I cook six of these trays at a time. Each of these trays has one full pound of mixed vegetables, and then I have a good sized serving of whatever canned stuff I can find on sale. I usually either go with chicken, turkey, salmon, or mackerel, whatever is available. I do rinse the meat in the can as well, but these trays of food by themselves aren't all that flavorful, so I spiffy these up by adding some pickled jalapenos and then some salsa. Right now I've got some hot, chunky salsa, so that'll be great. When I am hungry and I want some extra food without all the calories, I add in one of these steamable rice veggie packets. This one happens to be cauliflower. Now let's talk about my evening pre, during, and post-workout beverages and foods. The only thing I ever have pre is right here. If I need an extra pep in my step, I'll have some instant coffee. I have an electric kettle to heat the water, which I also use for the oatmeal, but I'll make some coffee and that usually helps a lot. During all my spinning workouts on Stacy, no matter how long, I make sure to stay very hydrated by drinking plenty of water. During the longer rides that are more than an hour and a half, I make sure to have some Gatorade that I get from the local neighborhood market for just a dollar. I drink one of these during the first hour, hour and a half, because it's got electrolytes and some sugar too, to help make sure that I stay strong during the last leg of the workout. On most of the nights where I take off from spinning and just walk and lift, I have a protein shake, which consists of these three ingredients. I start with a cup to a cup and a half of plain unsweetened almond milk, and then I mix in one to two cups of 100% whey protein powder, and then I also add in a scoop of ground chia seed, which I add in for some more fiber and extra nutrients too. On the nights where I don't feel like doing all this, I have just like a half a cup to a cup of cottage cheese. On the nights where I lift and ride, I'll have a protein shake in addition to what I'm about to talk about. If I just ride, sometimes I will have a cup of yogurt or a cup of cottage cheese, but I always have some carbs since I need them after I ride, even when I do have the Gatorade. But my first choice, I love kiwi and I love strawberries, so I'll have these after a ride. If I don't have either of these available, I usually go with an orange. I always have those. If I'm just jacked up from the ride, I know I won't be able to sleep anytime soon, and I'm hungry, I usually try to cook something just to calm myself down. I don't want all the calories before I go to bed. That's just my personal choice, and if I do have them available, I love asparagus, so I'll grill some asparagus on the stove top and also sometimes add in some baby carrots as well. I begin each morning with a shot of apple cider vinegar and water, and I end each evening with three tablespoons of the Walmart Equate version of sugar-free Metamucil. 
This is all I have left from the last container I bought. I need to get some more. During this 12 week sex vacation break, I'm highly focused on making sure that my cholesterol and all my blood level levels are managed and kept in check. And from all the studies that I've read, the soluble fiber and Metamucil will help with that. I almost forgot, I also love spaghetti squash. It's not something I have all the time, really probably two or three times a month, every other Saturday or Sunday. For some reason, spaghetti squash, it's very low in carbs. It's way lower than just actual pasta spaghetti, but it's like kind of bougie to me. I don't know why. I have it as like a cool treat every now and then with some delicious French red hot sauce. All right, let's talk about how week number five went. I knew I was gonna have good results when I stepped on the scale just because of my scores and how everything went. I started the week off great with four strikes. My rides during midweek weren't that strong. I was feeling pretty weak and I knew I needed to do something to get ready for my three hour Sunday ride. So the weekend, it kind of worked out really well. My mom and dad came to visit me for the weekend. So on Friday, once they got there and then Saturday, I had a couple bigger meals just for some more calories to prepare me. So I threw a spare on Friday and then an open frame on Saturday. Had two meals out of restaurants, which was kind of intentional to get some carbs and stuff in me, but I dominated my three hour ride on Sunday. So I was really happy with how everything went. I did much better during that three hour ride than I did the previous week. So I stepped on the scale. Again, I was happy with what I saw. 345.1 pounds, so I was down 2.8 pounds from the 347.9 pounds that I was at after week number four. For a total after five weeks, I'm at a loss of 28.8 pounds. So I'm very happy about that for two reasons. Number one, made some progress. Number two, it was only 2.8 pounds. So that means I'm finally done with all the crazy water weight fluctuations. So I am feeling great, excited to dominate week number six. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And yes, I am aware that my diet is very boring during these 12 weeks, but my diet is super exciting during all the rest of the year when I'm not on break. So by the end of this 12 week diet, eating all these bland foods, just flavored up with hot sauces and salsa, I'll be very, very excited to get back on tour and eat some more burgers and all kinds of more deliciousness again. But now that I've talked about my fitness and my nutrition, not sure what to talk about next. I'll think of something, of course, but I'd love to base everything in the next video off your feedback below. So please comment, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, what you'd like me to talk about in the next video. But thanks again for all your time and support watching this video. Until my next one, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, hoping you guys always, always, always win before you begin. Thanks for watching. I have a cup of instant oatmeal. <laughs> cup of instant oatmeal. <laughs> cup of instant oatmeal. I did it again.